Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 4.35 from Sadiku book. So the question is use Stefanin theorem to find P0 in problem 4.12. Okay, so we need two steps to find out the Stefanin voltage and the Stefanin resistance. Okay, so there are two steps which is the first one is to find out the Stefanin voltage which is an open circuit voltage. So we replace this 5 volt, I mean 5 ohm resistor with an open circuit here. And we need to find out the voltage between this node, node A, and node B. Okay, so this is the first step that we need to do. And then the second one is to find the, this is not VTH, but the Tevenin resistance or R. TH. Okay. We also change this 5 ohm resistor with an open circuit, but then we also replace this for a current source with open circuit and then two voltage source with short circuit here. So this is the circuit for finding the Tevenin voltage and this is the circuit to finding Tevenin resistance okay let's find each one by one okay the first step is to find out the tevenin resistance or in this case tab okay i think we can assume the direction of the current here and but first let's assume this is our ground so the voltage here will be zero and i will be using nodal analysis so i need to assume the direction of the current so I can assume the direction of the current. This is going to the right. This is going down. This is going down. And I think this going to the left, I think. And this is 12 volt from the ground. So I will have 12 volt here. And 19 volt is here. So I will have 19 here. So I need to do KCL at node A and also KCL at node B. So I will have KCL at node A. Okay, KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. Okay, let's see what currents that goes in and what currents that goes out. This is going in and this also going into the node A and this is going out. So the current that goes in is this one here and that one is 12 minus VA divided by 6 and then another current that goes in is from this current source so I will have to ampere there and then that will equal to this current that is going out so I will have VA minus 0 divided by 3 let's multiply all of this by 6 so we will get I will have this one will be 12 minus VA because 6 and 6 will cancel each other and I will have this one is 12 and this one will be 2 VA. Okay, we can add 12 and 12 so I will have 24 and I will have 2 VA. Let's move this minus VA to the right hand side so I will have plus VA. So I will have 24 is equal to 3 VA or VA is equal to 8 and the unit here will be volt. Okay, I think we need to highlight that because this is an important value. Now let's do another KCL but this time at node B. KCL at node B. Okay, KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay. Now, this is the only current that goes in, and that is 19 minus Vb divided by 4. Okay, and that will equal to this current that is going out. This is 2, and then plus this one here, I will have Vb minus 0. So we'll have Vb divided by 12. Okay, let's multiply both sides by 12 to get rid of all the 
denominator. Okay, 4 and 12 will cancel into 3. 3 multiplied by 19 is 57. So I'll have 57. And then minus 3 VB. And that will equal to 2 multiplied by 12. That will be 24. And I will have VB here. Okay, now let's isolate VB to the right hand side. So I will have 57 minus 24. And on the right hand side, I will have VB plus 3 VB. Okay, uh, 57 minus 24, I think that will be 33. And then what is VB? That is 4 VB. And that means that VB is equal to 8.25 volt. Okay, I think that also an important value here. But then what is V tefenin? The V tefenin is VAB. Okay, VAB. And that means that is VA minus VB. And what is VA? VA is 8. And then VB, VB that will be 8.25. And so our tefenin voltage will be minus 0 0.25 volt. Okay, so far so good. Now we need this important value and we need to carry on to find out the tefenin resistance. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so far we get the value of the tefenin voltage here. And the second thing that we need to do is to find out the tefenin resistance. Okay, so we replace the, this resistor with open circuit because this is our target. And then this volt current source with open circuit and the voltage sources with short circuit. And we need to see it from the terminal that we are looking for, which is this is A and this is B. And we need to see the resistance from this point of view. Okay. Now, if we are seeing from this point of view, what is RT8? So RT8 is that 6 parallel with 3, right? So I will have. 6 parallel with 3 but then this 4 also parallel with 12 okay so we have 4 parallel with 12 but then they are connected in series so we need to add them up okay now let's do another arithmetic here so 6 parallel with 3 is 6 multiplied by 3 divided by 6 plus 3 and then this one is 4 multiplied by 12 divided by 4 plus 12. Okay, we will have 18 divided by 9. And then this will be 48 divided by 16. This will be equal to 2, I think. And then this will equal to 3. So 2 plus 3. So I will have the Tefenin resistance is equal to 5. Okay, good. So we have two important values, the Tefenin resistance and the Tefenin voltage. Okay, so we can draw it like this. So we will have this voltage source and the value is minus 0 0.25. Okay, and then the Tefenin resistance here. That will be 5 ohm. Okay. This is our Tefenin circuit. But then remember that we take out the resistance here. Which is 5 ohm. But the question is asked about the voltage across that resistor. So we put this resistor here. Which is that 5 ohm. And this is the V0. What is V0? We can calculate from this point. So what is V0? V0 is equal to 5 divided by 5 plus 5 multiplied by minus 0 0.25. Okay, this is equal to 0 
and then multiplied by minus 0 0.25 and so i think we will have our v0 here v0 is equal to minus 0 0.125 and the unit is volt and i think that is the final answer for this problem thank you for watching and then see you in the next video bye bye